I mean, if Nami had killed Usopp either way, it would have made for great television. I don't think how I ever would have come back from that. Money! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. Today we have episodes 35 and 36 of our One Piece watch through. Now, last episode or in the last two episodes, a lot went down. It made us sort of think that uh, Nami stabbed Usopp when in reality, she stabbed herself to help him get away, which I was kind of under the assumption of. I don't think she's that kind of person hopefully when in reality she's trying to play both sides right now she's trying to do everything she can for her family and her village while at the same time she has this want this need to be with luffy and the crew and now her sister has shown up to talk to luffy and them about bella mar i think that was her name this person that supposedly had a big big impact on both of them we're gonna hop right into it if you need this channel drop a sub hit that big bell so we see future episodes drop a fat like on this one let's just hop right into it oh they're inspecting good thing they got out wait they were like right there too they were just chilling <laughs> operate flying vehicles Oh. oh no <laughs> wait this could actually be nuts if they fought oh shoot it's going down an unstoppable force meets an immovable object what happens he's gonna try to walk by someone's gonna say something unless they're like why aren't you afraid of us <laughs> he's so stone cold oh he is much more humble than the rest of them oh <laughs> he's so wholesome man <laughs> i like this dude so much he's built different i like how that was the first interaction with him and the fishmen it's very character accurate is that a basket of fruits on, on the ground oh it's oranges yeah oh is this nostalgic Mm. Guessing this dream was instilled because of her. Oh, the tangerine orchid, 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 or orchard. So I'm that might be Bella Mar's dream, and she's trying to fulfill it for for her because she probably died or something. Oh, oh, that's like the oh, that's a wow, that's that old. I'm guessing she gets caught by. <laughs> Not me stealing from a library at age like six, bro. Oh, shameless. Oh, that's Gen! <laughs> Dude, Gen's been around this whole time too. I don't think he has the stitches. Does he have stitches now? He still has the windmill, it looks like. But it makes sense that like all the villagers would freak out when his life was threatened. Okay, so she took care of her. <laughs> like she's proud of her. <laughs> How dare you not pay for this child? Bro, paying, playing this man. Oh my god! Nami just laughing, bro. What says? What does her shirt say? Oh, okay. So she does at least reprimand her. What a bother for you. Oh, it's her. It's probably like some secret plan. Mm, they can't sell them. <laughs> so I think she's the. I don't know if Bella Mar is her mom, and she's the adopted one. Her sister's the adopted one. I mean, they look so similar. Their faces are so similar. A prodigy, made to be a pirate, born to be a pirate. Actually, true. That is a very impressive like topography map for a child. Oh, this is so awesome! Born to be a navigator. Aww. I thought it'd be like a, a, a darker past, but it's a very wholesome relationship. She believed in her. I'm guessing things go horribly wrong. Something happens to Bellamar. Bellamare. That's why Nami's living this dream out now. Oh, I wonder if Arlong does something. Ooh. For reals? Mm. She's putting on a face for the kids. Wait, and she even said that she would buy the book for Nami. They don't have any money either. I am lying. That's so cute. <laughs> Hand me downs. Well, you can't get new clothes. Ooh. Ooh. Don't say those kind of things. I mean, well, it is true. That was a hell of a hit. Not like she meant to that hard. Just personal experience with this. Either that or she just wants them to be sisters. Ooh. 
okay, so they're both adopted. Okay. You're around for a reason. She adopted you for a reason. Oh my god, Nami! Obviously, she cares about you, bro. It's gonna be the classic, like, I'm running away! Gets 10 feet. I hope it doesn't end up in a situation where, you know, Nami's put in grave danger and Bella Mare has to, like, give her life or something. But obviously, she's not in the picture anymore, so something happened. Kids will be kids. No, Jiko just wants everyone to get along. I wonder what Flip switched. Boy, this town used to be so thriving. It's so sad. Like a whole community. Did say wanted Krieg, Don Krieg. I was like, need a little Easter egg. Ah, exactly. Oh, I like the, the two colored cups, like one for Nami, I'm guessing one for Nojiko. Oh. Interesting. I wonder if that means she's actually alive and she left to become a Marine. Oh no, she was a Marine, but I wonder if she is again now. Oh, but now she's back. And maybe she didn't like the life. Saw the ruthlessness of it. Oh, that's why she saved them. Nami and Nojiko don't realize all she's done for them. Now they do. Or at least now Nami does. I wonder how much uh, Nojiko remembers. Brought them all the way. Yeah, they would have 1 million percent died there. I'm guessing that entire village, wherever they were from, was wiped out. They would have died. It's not like Bella Mare just went to some adoption center and was like, oh, I'll take those two. And she took responsibility for him. Let's get him out of the cold, bro. Damn. The voice acting. Oh my gosh, Ken looks so young. Oh man. She is still seen as like the youngster. I mean, this was, of course, a flashback still, but it's her perspective. That's what she wants, though. Hmm. No, she's definitely dead now. And I really don't want to see why. I think Nojiko does remember a decent amount about it. Maybe that's why she's so, like, stable about everything. Almost died together. She knew exactly where to go. <laughs> Is this doctor still around? I don't recognize him. Well, he does look quite old. See, the villagers do have like a positive outlook on them. Oh. Oh no. Awesome, they showed up. God dang that ship! Bro! That is insanity. The f a split in the fishman pirate group. So Arlong was part of one half. I wonder why they split off. Oh man. Mine. They couldn't do anything to fight back from the very, very beginning. Bro, I don't have that much of my piggy bank. Oh no, and Bella Mare doesn't have that much. Can't survive off that. Oh, she's not there. Oh my gosh. Definitely not. And definitely can't do that monthly. They're gonna see her house. <sighs> oh no. I don't, I can't watch, man. Oh, dude. Just stab my heart.
Dude, I don't know if I can watch tonight. This is gonna be mad depressing. I mean, it's like a there's like a 99% chance she doesn't make it out of it alive because obviously she's not in the village anymore because we would have seen her by now. The 1% chance is that she like escapes the island somehow and goes unpunished. But I have a feeling she's gonna give her life for Nojiko and Nami. It is really sweet that the whole village is worried about her though. I mean, they were a community tight knit. She was making this whole meal for them, man. All excited. Those webbed hands. She doesn't know. Oh, she's going to attack him. She saw the big silhouettes out the window. Figured someone was going to hurt her. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, she got a gun! I mean, shoot, dude, she was in the, the Marine. She know what she's doing. Dude, Bellamare's badass. Oh my gosh. I mean, we saw this man catch a, uh, a cannonball in his mouth and destroy it. I don't know if a gun to the face will do anything, honestly. Yeah, they're not even worried. Oh my gosh. Can't compare to the fish man. You're too late, Nami. This is very, very clearly like I think the first person's perspective was maybe to show like a very poor memory for Nami who's running to try to get to her. Right now? Oh, oh my, oh my God! Oh, her bones! Oh. Is this how Gen ended up with his, his stitches? Like Gen will offer to help. Unless he maybe doesn't even have that much. Oh, gosh. Oh, smart. Does she die for this, though? She give up everything she has. That was very smart. That's why the other guy stopped, uh, stopped Nami and... Oh, yeah, and they're not on the record. Oh, man. Maybe Bellamare is alive and she leaves. No, she wouldn't leave Nami and Nojiko. I mean, maybe she would if it meant they stayed safe. I don't know. I just want her to make it out of it alive. That's all their money, man. That's so sad. Oh! She wants them to be able to live here for her family. Oh. Oh she doesn't make it out. God. Oh. Oh, no. yep. That's how he got it. Oh my god. This is a, the village actually fights for them. Oh, no. I mean, he le leaves them alive so that they can pay. Holy shit. That's why she wants the tangerine. Um. Oh. oh, that's why he he saw potential and yeah, and use out of her. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm surprised Gen didn't die here, actually. I'm very surprised. Man's basically on the brink, though. Wow, he's like, he like wants to die for it. I just knocked him out. Again, they have to leave some alive. 
I do wonder about the, the windmill on his hat. Oh my god, dude, that is rough. That, I'm guessing that's a manga panel of him shooting her. That was... Oof. All their potential escape and everything. She died. They were family. Oh, true. That's the grave Nami was at, too. Again, I don't know if this old guy is around anymore. Seems like he wants to fight. You you saw them. You know you have no chance. Is the thing. I mean, even the Navy didn't. But that's after, so we're still in flashback mode. Boy, all these people were really passionate about ha helping them, caring for each other. She was seen as a punk, but died as a hero. Is that Nami? Oh my gosh. Eat her up. She was on her arm. Is that her tattoo already? No. She joined them to protect them. Boy, that age. Holy. It's like a twisted version of her dream. Maybe it's just like a scratch and stuff on her arm. I figured they would tattoo her. She got bruises and stuff, so yeah. Oh, no, she does have it. Damn, that young. The value of money is so ingrained in her head. You can't even be like, mad at this child for... Oh my god. I feel like she started saying this all very, very early on to separate herself from them so that she could work for them. Make everyone hate the, hate her so she could get what needs to be done to protect the village. I mean, maybe. I don't know if a, a kid would think that deep. All kind of like disgusted by it. Because I mean, on the surface level, it looks like she really meant it. Oh my gosh. So they were taking down the Navy ships very early on. Just wasting ships and men. And that's when it began. Oh my gosh. That is a stupid amount of money. 100 million? No wonder she did everything. And I know even to this day, even whenever she looks at him, she dies inside a little. Jeez, man. The lone tangerine. <laughs> Is Zoro sleeping? Oh my. It's okay, a lore master Usopp will handle it. Usopp's like... Gonna... Yeah, 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 they're gonna go, go straight for Arlong, bro. I think she's telling them this to stop them because she's so close to being able to buy it. Mm. Uh, if she's come this far, why mess it up now? Oh, they're still here. They listened in on the whole thing, bro. Stole from everyone possible, trying to make money. No wonder she got so good at it. Oh, so that's where the treasure map leads. All the money she saved up. Oh, okay. Boy, she is close. Seven million sounds like a lot, but that is very close. So I'll be free. And like I said, Arlong would keep his word. He seems like the type. He's a brutal guy, but deals the deal. But she smiled like that when she was with Luffy and all them. Like I said, split. Uh-oh. Gen's with them. Oh. oh, no. I was asking this. I love how all of that. <laughs> oh, they're like this whole like naval uh, group walks past. It's like pin. The, this pinwheel is intriguing to me. She's so close. She still lives in Bellamere's house. I just realized. He's got cuts all over him. Oh no. He wants to. Oh my god. And it would just go to Arlong, anyways, too, because Arlong has this guy wrapped around his finger. 
bro nami is straight up about to murder all of these dudes are you serious oh my god i knew the backstory was gonna be sad with bella mare but that was that was horrendous she died right in front of them dying for them dying for the fact that she couldn't stand to say they weren't family i mean she instilled it in them that they were that was the whole point of her getting so furious that nami said they weren't that that wasn't a, no Juko wasn't her sister that she wasn't her mom it made her furious so yeah it makes sense that she would literally give her life for them to know that she saw them as family and like i said i want to go find the manga panel for that because that had to be just absolutely stunning but now we we know we, we get a really good sense of how arlong established here and why nami has been working towards this we had a good idea in the like before these two episodes but still it makes plenty of sense now why she's doing what she's doing how she's going about it why nojiko says they need to leave etc and now i think the whole key is luffy and all of them standing up for nami and i guess an all-out fight between now this naval group and arlong's pirates just the a whole battle goes down and it's going to be insane i can tell guys that's been it for episode 35 and 36 of our one piece watch through drop a comment down below when you thought the episode we thought my reaction and as always i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace